Hello, third grade, and welcome to our I Learn prep for today. Now, as we are in our lessons this week, we are going to be practicing shapes for our I Learn prep, and this is what they might look like on our test. Now, if you have not first done your activities with lines and shapes, I want you to go back and do that first. Make sure you have those finished. Now let's go ahead and begin. This is on Study Island. You will click on Math or My Classes and then go to Math and then find I Learn Prep Shapes. Let's go ahead and begin. Jenna drew the following figures. So it looks like they have a point and a arrow so that means it is a ray which of these figures is a line segment so this one has a point and an arrow so that's an that's a ray q has a point and an arrow so that is also a ray s has two arrows so that is a line it continues on forever and a line segment has two points, a starting point and an ending point. So R is showing a line segment. Choose letter B and then click next. Answer this one on your own. What is the name of the top part of the shape? So not the base part, but what's the top part called? What is the top part called? Cylinder, pyramid, sphere, or cone? Choose your answer and click next. Oh, we're looking for more line segments. Remember, line segments have a starting and an ending point. Which two have a starting and an ending point. Go ahead and choose yours now. What has a starting and an ending point? Click next. For this, the directions say to select all the correct shapes. Jade wants to make a poster in the shape of a quadrilateral. Quadrilaterals have four sides. She wants her poster to be in the shape of a rhombus, rectangle, or square. Which shapes could she make her poster? Well, I can first say that the ones with more or less than four sides would not work. So this triangle only has three sides. That one would not work for her poster. This blue shape has one, two, three, four, five, six sides. That is not a quadrilateral. Quadrilaterals have four sides. Now first I have to remember what is a rhombus. A rhombus has four equal length sides. Which shapes have four equal length sides? Now this one's kind of hard. This orange one, I'm not really sure. I don't think they look completely equal, so I'm not gonna choose that one. This purple one has four equal sides. They're all the same length. And this square has four sides of the same length. Next, we need to find any rectangles. Rectangles. So it looks like this one right here because it has two pairs of parallel lines and four right angles. And this yellow one is also a rectangle. Go ahead, choose the rectangles and then click next. How many faces 
does this object have? Now I'm gonna teach you a strategy so you can write on your screen if you're in Study Island. You can click your lock and your home button to take a screenshot and then click on that box. Now we can write on it to find the faces. I want you to grab your highlighting tool. We're gonna count as we go through each face. So we have this front face, that's one. One minute for announcements. Teachers, please pardon this interruption. If you have PE, you will be going outside today. Again, PE is outside today. Please still meet in the gym, thank you. So we have one side right there. Now let's get the bottom. That's two faces. Choose another color. This side, three faces. Oop, another one. Sorry, it's me again. You will meet Mrs. Bornino outside the third and fourth grade hallway. So again, PE is outside. Um, meet her at the end of the third and fourth grade hallway. Thank you. So we have three sides. Now we can get this back side. That's four faces. We haven't gotten this face right this. That's five faces. And we have the top face. Might look a little crazy, but that's an easy way to count the faces. So a total, we had six faces. Go ahead, we don't need to save this, so click the trash button, delete screenshot, and it takes us back here. And we can choose a six faces. Go ahead and click next. This one you're gonna do on your own. Remember that squares, the characteristics of squares, is they have all equal sides, and 90 degree angles. Quadrilaterals, the only thing they need to have is four sides. So put the shapes in the correct group. Pause the video now to complete that. Number seven, we are dragging and dropping the shapes into the correct area. So we have quadrilaterals and rhombuses. Well, rhombuses have all equal sides, but different angles. So all the sides are the same length, but the angles are different. Quadrilaterals have four sides. So let's first look for <clears throat> um, a rhombus. Remember, it also has two pairs of parallel lines. You can see that this orange one right here is a rhombus, so we'll drag and drop. You can also see that this blue shape Looks like it has all the same size, but different angles. The top angle is different than the side angle. I know that this um, triangle does not work because it doesn't have four sides. This pentagon also does not go in our chart because it does not have four sides. We have a trapezoid and a rectangle that also fits in there. I'm wondering if it'll let us because these are also quadrilaterals. The rhombus is also a quadrilateral, so that could also fit in there. But something like a rectangle cannot be a rhombus because it has all equal angles. Click next. Two more. Select all the shapes that are quadrilaterals that have four sides. 
Go ahead and do that now. Select all the shapes that have four sides. Pause the video now if you need more time, then click next. Select the correct answer from each drop down menu. Com correctly complete the following sentences, both rhombuses and angles. So I'm going to take another screenshot so I can draw this out for you. You do not have to. I'm just going to draw these out so we know what we're thinking about. A rhombus has all equal sides but different angles. These ones are obtuse and these are cute. A rectangle. Oops, sorry, my thing slipped. Has four right angles. And these two sides are the same, and these two sides are the same. So both rhombuses and rectangles always have what? Four sides or four square corners. Well, only the rectangle had four square corners. So they both always have four sides. Both squares and rectangles always have four sides of equal length or four square corners or right angles. That's another way to say square corners. They both always have four square corners. A rectangle can have different sides but it has to have four square corners or four right angles. Both squares and rhombuses always have four sides of equal length or four square corners. Let me draw a rhombus. So we have a square, all the sides are the same, but the angles are all right angles, they're all square. Or a rhombus, all of the sides are the same, but we have an acute angle and an obtuse angle. So what is similar? They both have four sides of equal length. Last question, what is this called? Line, line segment, endpoint, or angle? Once you are finished with number 10, do not submit. Click save for later up there at the top. 